What's going on guys, before this video starts, if you could do me a favor and go check out my second channel where I'm going to be posting Let's Plays of some of the AAA titles like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and much more. Just click the little logo that you see on the screen right now to check it out, and i appreciate it if you would subscribe. Enjoy the video. So guys, I have good and bad news. I guess it's good news in the sense that we're actually going to be able to start raising dinosaurs. Um, and good in the sense something else came up. But bad in the sense that we're pretty much moving out until further notice of, uh, of this current base. Because I'm having an issue where T-Rexes are spawning inside my pen, as you can see right there. That is, that is definitely an issue to be had. Both of my T-Rex either broke out or died. Um, I haven't played the game in like four or five days. Usually I record ahead of time and then I come back and things are pretty fucked up. But we will come back to this base. Promise, I will promise you that we will be back to the snow biome eventually. But pretty much what we want to do now is we're going to be taking our Dodicarus and we're going to be heading out and we're going to be heading to the new swamp biome. It's not really new for you guys because you guys have probably already been there, but I've actually never been there. I'm just going to take my Dodicarus and we're going to go. I got to make sure he's not too heavy. That might be an issue here. I'm pretty much going to fully empty him out. Um, I have some building supplies. I have no foundations or anything, but we can easily get some foundations when we get over there. Let me just drop the things I don't need. I don't need the pillars. I really don't need the ladders. I could store them, but whatever. They're not hard to craft. This is why we can't pick them up. God damn. Um, actually, let me make some foundations out of this. That's actually a really good idea. Let's do that. Because I want to make myself uh, what I would call an incubation station. Um, just a little house that has an elevator in the middle that goes to a top floor that is really warm and a bottom floor that has a ton of troughs, a ton of... Uh, meat inside a fridge just to be able to tame some dinosaurs or uh, birth some dinosaurs and one really cool thing that we actually did on the server is we increased the amount of time or well, we decreased the amount of time that it actually takes to um that it actually takes to hatch dinosaurs into mature dinosaurs so that being said it's going to be really awesome to actually just raise dinosaurs once you get two of each then you can just start multiplying so Pretty much when I have this base in the swamp biome, I'll probably just import direwolves and then I will just breed direwolves and then I will never have to come to the snow biome again. But I will eventually come back to the snow biome and continue my castle, but I thought it was just about time to kind of do the new stuff and uh, show you guys a, a cool little build that I'm going to start working on over in the uh, new swamp biome. Seems like something's getting harassed over here by an Argent Davis. This is the issue with the snow biome, too. There's no control over Argentavis. They just kind of run amok and do whatever the hell they want. There we go. Notes on Rockwell recipes. Cool, cool. All right, let's land up. We're going to get some wood over here. Oh, looks like we're getting a dire wolf attacking us. Guess we're not going to get wood over here. We're going to go closer to our base. Makes sense to actually go closer to our base. And we're just going to craft foundations out of what the Dodicarus has on him. I, I want to go inside my pen that has all the that has all the trees. Whoops, just flew into his fence. But if I were to go inside the uh, inside the the gated area, I will get attacked by a, a T Rex. So I'm not gonna do that. All right, Qbert, come here. At least Qbert survived. I think Qbert escaped and somebody in the tribe found him out in the distance. That's one of the reasons why I'm in this tribe is for when my lost dinosaurs get lost and the regular players on the server will actually be able to find him. Yo, get off the spiky fence, you dumb idiot. Come on. That's not really quite enough wood. We're pretty much going to start with the incubation station, like I said. Um, we'll probably fly back and forth in between bases just to use the fabricator and stuff. I might just break it down and craft my own. Fabricators aren't really that much of an effort uh, when it comes to a five-time server. Two, three, four. Eat some food. All right, let's fly over to Qbert. Just craft up some foundations. Probably, I'd say, mm, maybe a bigger than a three-by-three. Three. Maybe a four-by-four four will look 
perfect for the incubation station. But we'll see once we get over to the the swamp biome to see how populated it is. I mean, it isn't really a biome as much as the snow biome is, if that makes any sense. The snow biome is kind of like restricted to an area. The swamp biome just kind of follows a couple rivers and has one main area. Uh, we're going to go to the main area and actually see if it's popular or if people haven't really built over there at all. Go ahead and craft three foundations. Something to start with, at least. I think the reason being is we just need more stone in our inventory, and we'll be able to craft even more foundations. Yep, three more. And I think I, then it comes down to wood, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. There's bound to be stone inside the swamp biome, so... I just didn't want this stone to go to the waste. Most of it will, but not all of it. There we go. We got six foundations out of that. Not too shabby. All right, let's just start dropping away. And then we will go over here. Just drop the foundations inside you. You're going to have to grab Mr. Dodicarus here. And then we're going to fly over to the eastern side of the map. Which is this way. It is indeed. All right, so here we go. We're off on our adventure with Mr. Dodicarus. I need to make sure I don't right click. My hand is going to be right here and I'm gonna make sure I'm not even on the clicking because if I click and he drops, he dies. I don't even know if fall damage will affect him, but that Alpha T-Rex right there would affect it. That's actually the first Alpha T-Rex. Oh, no, 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 we killed an Alpha T-Rex on footage before, I remember. But that is one of the first Alpha T-Rexes that I've seen. That's like maybe the second or third. Um, I've only killed one before and it was pretty easy because it was lagging. It just started attacking us and lagging, so we could just attack it without it attacking back, so. So in between those mountains, I believe, is pretty much the swamp biome, just like on the edge of the world. We're going to have to stop for stamina at some point. I know that for certain. Uh, Mr. Dodicarus is going to have to land, or we can just stop in midair. I can press E, and then... Uh, I will stand up here and he should hover and regain stamina, but the issue with that is I don't know if he's following right now. If I get off of him and he starts following, I fall, I die, I lose everything, so. I don't know how someone builds right there. That must be a clusterfuck of getting attacked. That guy's crazy. Snow biome just wasn't for me, guys. I'm just not, it's not, not built for me at all. I don't like it. I don't like the snow biome and how crazy it is. I bet the swamp biome's not any better, but I, I bet it's not uh, like right on the ridge of a mountain that has god spawns for dinosaurs. We're heading over to the swamp now for the first time. So that's the northern part of the island, and we're trying to get to the eastern. We're already like halfway there, which is amazing. This is like the great expedition of Royal leaving his home in Massachusetts to go to the swampy Florida. It actually makes sense. It's funny. This Florida is swampy. Oh, there's a a, a, a Q. A Q bird. It's a wild Q bird. You don't see them very often. Somebody has indeed built right here. It's a big open spot. Good place to build. He hasn't quite finished his base yet, but he is in the process. Looks pretty good. I'm actually going to land right on next to him. And he was indeed following, so good thing I didn't test it. And then we'll just keep an eye on his stamina, get his stamina all the way up, and then we should have the last trek without having to stop. I might have to stop once on the coast to look for it. I have a map open to my right. Um, it's pretty it's pretty simple. You just have to fly to the, the eastern coast, and it's kind of a little part of the larger part of the swamp and then if you follow a river you're following the swamp as long as the map is correct then I should get there on this flight which is awesome let's try and get a little higher up I'm gonna down the gamma a little bit there we go it's not so blinding anymore At least Qbert survived at least my Dodicarus survived I'm really happy that my Dodicarus survived because he was a pain in the ass to level up. 
T-Rexes, not so much. We can just get T-Rexes and then we can level up both T-Rexes. And then when both T-Rexes are leveled up, then it becomes pretty damn easy to get stuff done once you level up both T-Rexes. Because then you just have to breed them and then they give birth to another high-level T-Rex. So once that incubation station set up, man, I'm telling you, we're going to have too many dinosaurs to count and it's going to be awesome. They're going to be strong as hell. We're going to be able to take on alpha T-Rexes. We're going to be able to pin them up against other people's dinosaurs and kill each other and so much more. I think my brother's old base is here, isn't it? That was on this server, wasn't it? Or is that on Ritz's server? Did anybody take this building spot? Just out of pure curiosity. I'm not going to build here myself. I'm just curious. This was on Ritz's server. He was built here, right? And then everybody converted to my server once the new update came out. It does look like somebody built here. I do like the way they built their, their towers. I'm actually going to go down there to investigate how they built those towers. So they're... Whoa. How did they do that? They just built them on the inside of... Ooh, we're going to do something like that. That looks so cool, how it's circular. That's how I should have built the lighthouse. I know I talked about that when I built the lighthouse, but that is really cool. All right, so now we have to head just pretty much purely south. This is where I believe the red obelisk, obelisk used to be, correct? I'm not sure. And then it moved to where the snow biome is. Well, they moved the blue one and replaced the blue one with the red one. No, I don't think the red obelisk was there. I feel like it was, though. I'm not sure, though. But now we're getting into non-hostile, coastal kind of flying, which is amazing. I miss the days of building on this coast here where I wasn't getting attacked by anything. It's because they, they threw all the danger over there on that island. and I'm I wouldn't be surprised if somebody built over there. Some people like danger. I'm a fan of danger, but that's why I have a base in the snow biome. I've had I've had my fair share of danger. I don't really want to deal with that anymore. But we should noticeably see it soon enough. I'm not sure if I actually have markers. If you see the the eastern little uh, finger right in the middle of the eastern coast, that's where we're trying to get to. That's where a part of the swamp biome I, uh, biome begins, and that's where we're gonna start searching around, follow the river up, and see if. Uh, we're getting any crazy spots that look like I want to build in. Alright, this should be our last rest before we find our building location. Then we're just going to claim that location with some foundations. And then make an incubation station. Lots of Asians. And it's amazing. Alright, let's go ahead. Come on, Mr. Dodicarus. Let's move on. That actually, is that the swamp biome right there? I don't really see the finger, but it is a large set of trees with water. So it makes me think that we're pretty much at the swamp biome, the beginning of it. Somebody built right here. Yep. I don't expect so. Yep, that is a swamp biome. Guys, welcome to the Swamp Biome for the first time ever. This is the first time I've actually seen it. This guy built in prime location outside the swamp, but not inside the swamp. I don't think you can really build inside the swamp. Too swampy. We're going to look for something outside of the swamp area that hasn't been built in. Pretty much everything that I'm seeing so far has been built here. There's, there is Titan of Boas inside the swamp. This was the prime location that I was looking at, but somebody's got a huge ass base already built here. Somebody's got a raft going through the swamps. That's awesome. Right on top of that rock is pretty much prime location. Yep. As you can tell, somebody built there as well. It's 
too hilly over here. I do like the uh, the waterfall going on right there. It's a very beautiful location. Actually, that rock right there. Not sure if anybody built on it. But it is prime location. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Dodicarus will be able to handle it. He'll swing once and he's dead. Yep. Fucking RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> Just get wrecked, nerd. I was gonna say, like, he's 1,000% damage. I am way too warm for this. Let's shed some fur. Let me keep the pants and the gloves on. I bet that's not too warm. Yeah, it is too warm. Damn. Still too warm. Guess it's just a warm day out. I'm gonna run around naked and get attacked by one raptor and die. Honestly? Prime location. Not too big. Not too small. There's some raptors roaming around. I see a giganto over there. I see a parasaur getting attacked. I like this rock. It's nice. It's, it overlooks all the parasaurs and it overlooks the actual swamp itself. Mr. Sarko's slithering up like a snake hiss, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and put down some foundations. I think this is the location that I want. We can easily do more building over here. We can do more building over there. We can find more locations for building as well. There's a hundred different things we can do. Um, doesn't seem like there's too many rocks. Actually, there's some over there. Not too hard to do. Uh, we're going to up your weight. That was pretty much next step after 1,000% melee damage. All right, let's roll on over here. I don't know how I'm going to safely store my dinosaurs uh, in this area, though. That's the one issue that I'm having. I'm probably going to have to either build off camera or just next episode just fully build. That way they're not here overnight without protection. So I think the incubation station will just be built into the normal base. I don't want to go overboard on this base. Um, I'll probably just build something real simple. And then if I want to change it up, then I will change it up by just taking it down and rebuilding it. We're primarily just going to start with a... A wall in the front. We're going to need thatch, so I'm going to do this. This will take down the trees in one swing, give us 75 thatch per swing. Nice and easy. This will also clear out the trees to give us an idea of the scale of this rock here. Maybe we'll become friends with our neighbors. I do like how the trees kind of come up over the edge. To make it feel a little bit more secluded. What up, Trike? How's it going? All right, and let's hop on Qbert. Um, and just pretty much build right in the middle. Just build right in the middle. Let's make sure it's the middle, though. It's pretty far over here, pretty far over there. I would like to do a square to start, and I think pretty much this is the middle where I'm going to want to start at. You can always build more to the left, more to the right later. For right now, we're just going to get a simple 3x3 three three done. We're going to go roll uh, go roll the Dodecarus over to the side. And get some, uh, get some more stone. We have thatch. Wood is easy. I just have to hit with my hatchet. I'm kind of curious what this Dodicarus can take on. I bet easily it could take on a trike. Just 1,000% melee damage alone is like means for carnage. Let's go ahead and just kill this Dillo. Nice and easy. Qbert should be fine there. I don't think anything dangerous is going to attack him. All right, let's roll over to some rocks. What up, Patchy? How's it going, man? These guys should be getting hit, but they're not. Let's go ahead and drop those rocks. Stupid ants. Fuck off. 
Leave him alone. Okay. He's fine. I forgot about ants. Those things bug the fuck out of me, and they're not in the snow biome, so. It's kind of great. It's great to be somewhere warm where I can actually just run around naked. That's what I do in Florida. Just kidding. I don't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some wood. Get a couple more foundations going. Get the doorway and the door going. Just something basic. Just a little base, and we'll expand from there. I want to do those circular things uh, that I actually saw that base do. I'm definitely going to do that on the corners. Um, I think we're going to go... Probably castle again, um, but we're going to change it up. We're going to give it some wood undertones. We're going to give it some wood windows. We're going to change some stuff up a little bit. You can only do so much. All right, we're going to do three foundations. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That'll give us a three by three, which is nine. We have walls. I don't know how many, like 30 or something. Uh, we have ceilings. I don't know if we have enough again. As long as we get the foundations going, I'm more than happy. Put the foundations here. We're going to keep the thatch. We're going to keep the wood. I mean, keep all of it. It's not that heavy. And we're going to roll on home. Place these things down. Just get something going. Like I said, the incubation station will probably be first, and then we'll just expand from there and just make the base bigger to fit, like, chests and gear and... One thing that we're only going to have issues here is oil, but I mean, we can easily just get to the coast. Uh, Mr. Mosasaur should still just be over in the other biome, so he should be fine, honestly. I don't think he's going to die, and uh, the whole tribe will look after him. Like I said, I will be back to the snow biome. I just needed somewhere warm to build in order to tame as many or to get as many dinosaurs as possible. Um, to breed them and hatch them and... Uh, I think next episode I'm going to show you guys off the war drums and the sword and the shield. I think they were added in the most recent update. Nothing crazy. Um, and I guess there was mammal breeding as well. Like the baby will stay inside. I'm not sure if that was actually released yet. But Star was talking something about that. So looking forward to that if it is not already released. Okay, so we got this little little thing going. Let's go ahead and just get some walls done. We're not going to make it crazy tall. We're just going to do a basic base. We're going to do probably two floors. Uh, we have some ladders unless I drop them. I probably drop them. I hear the frog and I actually haven't tamed one of those before. Something that I probably should do for my uh, Pokédex. And we'll probably, I think, just throw the Dodicarus on top here, on top of the base, and then have the uh, Mr. Cubert land on top of the base as well. And they pretty much should be safe from there. I don't see anything, I don't see any Argentavises, I don't see anything crazy. And we only have eight ceilings, which means we're going to have to head out and just get one more. Yeah, and this is just all temporary. It's not going to look like this forever. We're definitely going to have to get um, a pipe running up here ASAP. It is really warm here. Being really warm, flak armor or metal armor is actually the way to go. Because I believe it is... I'm not sure if it's exo or endothermic, but I think endothermic means you release heat. Or an exothermic... No, exothermic means you release heat. But I don't know like how it works with armor. Like if exothermic... I don't fucking know. All I know is it makes you cold. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm supposed to use the Dodicarus. I was going to hit it with my hatchet. That would be dumb. And swing on that rock. Is that rock not swingable? Or it's, he's too heavy already, I think. All right. Let's just get some wood. Hit a few trees. We're good to go. Got myself a sickle as well in case we do need fiber while we're over here and I don't have to like head back and be like, oh no, I need to freaking craft up a sickle. This episode's running a lot longer than normal, but I need to get this little base done. Gotta get the little base done. Kinda wanna take on the trike with my Dodicarus. I just wanna I wanna test him out a little bit. I bet he'll win, but I'm kinda scared that he'll get hurt. Wouldn't want him to get hurt. Yeah, would we? There 
go. Craftables, we're going to do one ceiling. Correct. One ceiling. One door. One doorway. And... I think that was it, correct? We have more walls, right? Yeah, we must. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and craft up something or other. Let's just go ahead and do more foundations, because we're going to have to expand it later anyway. And we're going to take out the trike with the Dodicarus, because I want to... I want to pwn him. just want to pwn him. That's all I want in life. Oh my god, yeah, the Dodicarus can pretty much take on anything. Get fucking wrecked there. I wouldn't doubt if it would be able to take on a... Uh, a regular T-Rex on its own. That thing just got wrecked. Alright, let's just roll on over. Mr. Dick Dickerus is really hungry, huh? Really hungry. What we can do about that is I'm going to pick some berries for him. In between episodes and just make sure that uh, he's not starving. So we wouldn't want... The only thing that's pretty much going to help me build this base to die, do we? Okay. All that noise I'm hearing. That watery noise. I think it might be uh, a Sarko coming on up. But that's fine. We don't have to deal with him at all. Doorway. And a door. Nice and easy. There we go. And then we just get one more wall. Glad I found the spot and that nobody took it. It's a pretty good spot. Not as big as the other one across the water. But it's good enough. What is this noise that I'm hearing? I think it's I still think it's the Sarko. Alright, well, thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. We'll continue to uh, craft up some building stuff. And probably next episode we will uh, we'll be back with uh, you know, we'll be back with a bunch of building supplies to build this up. Probably get the incubation station up and running next episode as well. Start getting some dinosaurs all set up. Get our gates open and ready to go. Jurassic Park incubation station will be a go very soon. Whoops. I'm trying to just bump them off right there. Look at that. And then we bump this guy right on top. And then we shouldn't have issues. And if he decides to fly away, uh, I really can't help it. But I'll probably be back in like a, an hour or so anyway, so it's fine. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed the longer episode. Usually I don't go this long, but uh, be sure to uh, check out my second channel, which I advertised in the beginning of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.